Welcome back everybody. Today we're doing a video that's a little bit different. I had a completely random chance meeting today with an American hero. His name is uh, Master Sergeant Mims. He's a veteran of World War II and Vietnam. He's also one of the few survivors of the Bataan Death March. Now for those of you guys that don't know what that is, a uh, quick and dirty history of it. The Japanese moved these guys a good distance uh, during that march for the POWs, American POWs and some Filipino POWs as well. Um, upwards of 90% of the folks didn't make it that started it out. Um, there's several reasons for that. One, uh, very little water, poor treatment along the way. Um, they were often, if they started to fall behind or something like that, the Japanese would just kill them. Uh, horrific treatment throughout um, of the American soldiers, for sure, and the Filipinos. Just an example, Master Sergeant Mims himself, uh, during the march, uh, one of the Japanese NCOs, dropped a coke a coke bottle obviously they didn't have cans like uh over there that bottles predominantly and uh he dropped it messed our moves with the hands it to him and the japanese soldier took the bottle and smashed his jaw with it shattering his jaw and dislocating or dislodging i should say excuse me uh several teeth now the reason he did it is because he didn't bow appropriately that's the kind of treatment these guys got um and really that's pretty good treatment compared to what happened to a lot of folks who obviously were killed bayoneted all kinds of things along the map the march um after that uh master mims was a pow for three years in japanese uh pow camps you can imagine the treatment there was pretty horrible they broke his neck um back he had to have reconstructive surgery on his arm when he got out because they messed it up so bad uh he tried to escape at one point he did escape and uh was free for seven days they caught him um and for punishment they took a bulldozer and smashed both of his legs shattering both of his legs um that's the kind of thing that this guy went through uh, it's pretty uh pretty uh humbling obviously to talk to somebody like that like a real no joke hero the kind of guys that make this country great well anyway when i was talking to him uh chit chit with him and he mentioned that he was trying to raise some money um to go to the reunion for all the baton death march survivors which happens i believe in new mexico uh in march um so you know he had no idea who i was just a regular guy to him which i am just a regular guy but i have a huge voice here obviously with the channel um so i told him i was going to help him out and i'm sure that some of my viewers would like to help him out so uh what we did myself as well as another viewer here on the channel we set up a gofundme campaign uh for him the goal is just two thousand dollars of course we get over that um you know, he's going to use it to send of his fellow uh, survivors there and help him finance their trips because there's not a whole lot of these guys left. Um, but that's about it. That's that's who this gentleman is. It's what we're doing for him to try to help him out. Um, certainly the guy's given up a lot of his life for this country. And uh, obviously a lot of us, most of us are eternally grateful for that. Um, so that's the quick story. I don't want to uh, waste or spend too much time, I should say, uh, rambling on after that. If you guys want to uh, help out the campaign, the link will be down in the video description. If you guys can't uh, donate, that's fine. We fully understand that everyone's budget's tight, particularly with the economy these days. If you could share this video on social media and get the word out, maybe one of your friends uh, would like to donate and help this gentleman out. Um, super nice guy. Uh, just had no problem talking about everything. Let me know what was going on. Uh, one of the nicest guys you ever meet and a humble guy. If you didn't know who he was, uh, of which I didn't know the majority of it until I got home and Googled him and, uh, very impressive to say the least. So that's about it guys. Uh, again, if you can't donate by all means, share the video. If you can donate, the links will be in the video description and, uh, we really appreciate it. And, uh, Hopefully we'll help this guy out and maybe a couple of his compatriots get there um, so they can see each other again after all these years.